Uh, yo everyone, welcome. We're here for the game. Maidstone and White York City at the LNER uh, Stadium. Welcome to my first ever live broadcast. Um, watch along thing. So we're all kind of set up ready to be watching this game. And uh, it's hopefully Maidstone can try and get some results out of this um, game. So well, just a few minutes now ahead of kickoff. Let's let's run you through some. Uh, well, let's first of all let's run you through the lineup with Maidstone today. You know, Dylan, hello, bro. Uh, touch and go, really, isn't it? Just each game we need points. Today would be a good start if we can get off to some free points. But York haven't won at home since like the middle of October. Um, and Mason obviously no win in five games apart from the FA Trophy one against Worthing in the league. So we're looking back to the 26th of November for Maidstone on their last home win. <laughs> or their last win full stop and that was home to Maidenhead three goals to two. Uh, we November 12th, the last away win. Scunthorpe away 2-0. Great afternoon that was. Enjoyed that one. One of the best away trips for a long while. Uh, so, Dylan, I'm hoping we can grab some three points. York has struggled since they got rid of their manager and stuff. So, but there, hey ho, let's let's give you some brief stats before we get into the game day here and uh, what's going on with Maidstone. So, the supporters coach run up there today. There, everyone's there. With Mason, the way support. Wreck some tickets and are still available to purchase, but time and dates. You'll have to keep that an eye out on that on the MUFC Twitter page. Uh, the February Soccer School then taking bookings um, for the Monday, February 13th to Wednesday the 15th. That's 10am to 3pm. Just keep an eye out on that. But the tickets are selling fast for the usual soccer school. That's due in February. Uh, well, some controversy has been up this week with Maidstone. Uh, a new loan e signing coming in from Dagenham and Redbridge. Uh, on a month's loan, uh, Johan Zuma come, come in from the Daggers. He joined them in December 21. I just imagine most people know, obviously, the situation that he was in. And, uh, uh, yeah, cool, you, uh, cool boy. Nice one, man. Welcome on board, Spikey. Yeah, so Johan Zuma on loan from Mason. He's in the starting lineup today as well. So uh, uh, a lot of controversy with that. He's playing, he's playing, isn't it? It's down to the club. You know, I'm not really commenting on anything there. Uh, Shamar Lawson then, loan on from Millwall. He's been, his ex loan has been extended now to the beginning of February and he's in the starting lineup today as well. And whilst one Luke, he's been doing his own weight sessions and fitness training and everything, getting himself back up to fitness. And one Luke, our Spanish. Wonder, Wonder Man <laughs> is on course still for a return in March. So that's pretty much most things. Maidstone have been training. They were training yesterday up at Doncaster ahead of today's kickoff. And I'm not sure whether Reese Greenidge and Jerome Bin and Williams, I had that down earlier, they had their injuries. Jerome Bin and Williams last week against Dagenham, I think, ankle, ankle injury. Neither of them are in the lineup today. And other news then from Maidstone as well is that the uh, confirmed in from our joint co-owners, Terry Casey and Oliver Ash. Uh, cool, yeah. Nice one, cool boy, yeah, man. It's not up today, obviously, but it will be back for the return of Wrexham a couple of weeks' time, 21st, when I get back to my next game. Uh, yeah, so Terry Casey, Oliver Ash, co-owners, it's been confirmed that they are in discussions at this moment in time with various interested parties about possible investment into Maidstone United so that's ongoing and we'll keep you updated with that. Uh, stats in York City, um, Shake Ford uh, is scored on his debut away at Gateshead in their 2-2 draw last week. He's on loan in him from EFL Championship side Watford and he's in their starting lineup today as well. The stats then, five straight losses in the league. 
for Maidstone. The last win at home to Maidenhead, as I said, 3-2, November 26, and the last win away at Scunthorpe was 2-0 on the November the 12th. Masons have the worst goal difference than in the National League, unfortunately. Conceded most goals as well, conceding 55 and scoring 30 in 26 games. Currently third bottom ahead of today's game on 21 points. Have played more games than everyone else around them. So definitely a win needed. Uh, not getting my hopes up, but we'll see as the game goes on. The two sides below Maidstone, Torquay and Scunthorpe. Torquay are 19, a game in hand, and Scunthorpe 16. Uh, also a game in hand. Oldham are 21st, just above Maidstone. Same points, three games in hand. And Gateshead 20th, also on 21 points, two games in hand. Uh, then there's Aldershot Town are 19th. Uh, then they've got a five-point gap there between 20th and 21st. So that's pretty much it. Let's give you your lineups. Uh, first, let's give you York City lineup then. So you've got Ethan Ross in goal then for York City. Then number two, Ryan Fallowfield. Three, Adam Crooks. Maxim Kurigan. Four, six, Patrick McLaughlin. Seven, Alex Hurst. And nine, Shake Forward. That's the lone guy. Watch out for him. Is in from Watford on loan. 14, Kemel John Lewis. 16, Mitch Hancock. 19, Dan Pybus. And 22, Nathan Thomas. And their subs are Scott Burgess. 10, 12, Alex Whittle. 17, Sam Sanders. 18, Ryan Whitley. And 27, Manny Doku. Um, let's put that down across over there. Come on, Maidstone. Yeah, need to. Yeah, for sure. Cool boy. All right, let's give you a Mason starting lineup then. Before I keep moving that around. Uh, 31, then on loan from Norwich City, in goal, Dan Barden. Also on loan, then in from Sheffield Wednesday, one of Mason's better players, uh, three, Ryan Galvin. Uh, four, Joe Frew Elu, then at the back, along with number five, George Fowler. Uh, midfield, there is eight, Sam Corn. Ten, up front, then Jack Barham. Straight into the starting lineup in defence is number 12, Johan Zuma, on loan from Dagenham and Redbridge. 15, Reagan Booty. 19, Hardy Gandor. Uh, 21, Roy Deacon. And on loan from Millwall is 32, Sharmar Lawson. On the bench for Maidstone then, Yusuf Mercy, number 30, keeper. 9, Sol Wonjal Smith. 14, Dominic Olasanya. 16, Josh Schwali. And 17, Christy Patterson. So the teams have just come out onto the pitch in their lineup cell. So that's pretty much everything. No, Maystone struggling, definitely need that win today. Um, it's hopefully we can do the business, so eh? I think we have a good lineup uh, to win. <laughs> hopefully, yeah. Uh, we need it. Uh, I, I don't think it's much much more of a stronger lineup really. It can put out there another injury. The sad one, obviously, the, the, with his ankle. I believe it was from Jerome Bidden Williams after his coming back a few matches ago, a uh, while well, matches ago now. Uh, Jerome Bidden Williams, definite captain there at left back, uh, but obviously out injured now, along with like Reese Greenidge, another injury at the back. So. I mean, we've got a few out back with Gavin Hoyt still out injured for a while. Uh, yeah, stacks of them, lots of injuries. So let's see how the game goes. We're pretty close to kick off, and we're just going to see um, what happens. So, yeah, it's a brief drink there, just doing all the usual warm ups before ahead of the kick off. This is the only way I was found that I was able to do a live stream of the game. Never, never really done it before properly. Um, you can do it officially through other other things, but obviously you need a microphone and everything properly set up, and that with the PC and everything. So I thought I'd do it this one. They're obviously going to have a minute's hand clap oh, and a minute's silence ahead of the uh, the kickoff today. Which I believe will be uh, for one Luca Viali, 
uh, the Chelsea legend that passed away yesterday morning as well, the Italian. So many losses actually over this Christmas period as well. From fans, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Luca, yeah, great player. Just doing their minutes. Silence now, ahead of the game. One minute silence has been observed. Rest in peace, one Luca Viali. So the team's here. So we're looking at the TV screen up to York. I'll kick in from right to left, Maidstone from left to right. First have a time, obviously, since it's Booth and Crescent, last time I travelled to York City. <laughs> um, I think Maidstone scraped a 1 1 draw there, we did. Um, Chucking it down with rain. I can't remember if it was a rainy day that day or not. Um, but yeah, it was an opened terracing. But now York City have since then moved. They were on the verges of moving then when we was at Booth and Crescent. And uh, they're now at the LNER Community Stadium. Uh, quite a way outside of town. And uh, we're just ahead of kickoff and Maystone kicking off for us. And the game is on the way. So York City uh, struggled, not won at home. Obviously, both teams' first game of the new year into 2023. York not won at home. Uh, they've struggled since the beginning of October, or since mid-October, I believe it is, since their last home win. So both teams struggling. York City, for some reason, they they got rid of their manager and they were they were up in like the top half of the table, doing reasonably well. Sack the manager and they've, they've kind of struggled since. So the ball in midfield. Or Maystone going up, up up the left wing. Here we go. Cross it. Oh, Cole with Maystone scored. Come on. Oh my God. Goals in straight away from Maidstone. Across him from the left. It goes across and it's tapped in. Oh, wow. Oh yes, get in, or is it? Just waiting to see who's got the goal. Mays York City nil, Maidstone United one. Is that like Ryan Galvin heading up the wing and getting that crossover? Ah, oh, in it goes. So one, less than two minutes into the game, it's York City nil, Maidstone United one. Oh, what as Jack Barham gets the goal. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's like a whale. What's a great startling from Maidstone? First ever time Maidstone have played at that stadium. York City, one of the other teams that have um, that have come up. They came up as the playoff final winners. Uh, Jack Barham, another Messi, yeah. <laughs> it's about time Mason got back on the score sheet. We've, we've gone like a couple of three games now without putting balls in the net. Well, there are two losses at Dagenham home and away 1-0. And it, it's just awesome to get back on that score sheet. And, Yorker on the attack now. No, Mason have blocked it out though. So Mason heading up that left hand wing again, right up just outside the box. It's gone out for a throw. Yeah, got lucky. Yeah, the 2 1, scrape the 2 1 nils. Good to see Sam Corn back in the, obviously he was there, home to Dagenham Redbridge, just returned after his illness. Um, and now he's back in, back in the starting lineup again today. You know? So yeah, great stuff. So yeah, come on, come on, get in now. It's that 1-0. Let's actually have that round me. It's a shame because I just got back in like sometime this morning. I got back in from work and uh, couldn't. I knew I couldn't get to the game today, um, so it was just what's the what's the live stream? It's got the black areas there showing on me. <sighs> So, not even five minutes into the game, but four and a half. What's this corner coming up from Maidstone? A corner, sorry. A corner for York City. Three or four nil would be good. I think we're due to beat someone by that scoreline. It's got to come at some stage, hopefully. Coming in, it's gone right across everyone and gone out the far side. Ah, oh, Notts County next Sunday, that will be. Oh, the Notts County one. I guess you have to rely on them to get to matches if if they go to games then I guess. Parents. Oh Notts County playing all the shot. Oh okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh my God, York York City come back one all. Shakai Ford, that guy we said was a danger man, he just equalised for York City. The guy on loan from EFL Championship side, Watford. No way. <laughs> Let's get VR up, VAR on it. Wow, sloppy in defence. Open two players around him. He's got round both, and an open shot there in the penalty box from. York City's right hand side, Maidstone's left, and it's straight in. 1 1. Wow, that didn't last long. Maidstone, it's York City 1, Maidstone United 1, two goals in the first six minutes. So Maidstone, obviously, the worst 56 goals now. Entertaining, yeah, it is. Six goals, um, 56 goals Maidstone conceded now nationally, scoring 31.
great entertaining end-to-end game. Fortunately, it's the first game in a while I've not been able to get to. Notts County away next Sunday I'll not get to either because of the um, heading back into work on a Sunday afternoon. Our points the same as the goal differential. That's crazy, you know. <laughs> Shame is as well, we're, we're played more games than everyone else around us, so points are vital. It would be good to get a draw at York now, I don't know it's 1 1, or if we can go and grab another goal to go ahead. But, but we do leak goals quite, you know, I mean, I, I can't remember the last time we kept a clean sheet. Only that FA Trophy match against Worthing. So what one? It's amazing on the ball at the moment, trying to play out from the back, passing back to the goalkeeper Dan but oh my fucking god. What the fuck? Back pass from Maidstone gives York City a 2-1 lead. Back pass from Maidstone defender. And it's gone straight past Dan Barden and into the goal. 2-1 York City. Oh my God. What the hell is going on? Two goals conceded in a couple of minutes. An own goal. Well, not an own goal, but a cock up at the back. Jesus Christ. Wow. Goes from bad to worse for Maidstone. Wow, three goals in nine minutes, but going the wrong way. Huh? Wow, and it's the lone card, and it's it's Johan Zuma that's done the back pass as well. The guy on loan from Dagenham did the back pass. It's gone straight past Dan Barden and into the goal. For his debut debut game as well, left back. He's, he was, he's at Dagenham and he's come on loan to Maidstone. Obviously, all the controversy around him, and now he's put an own goal, uh, put the ball back past his own keeper to give York a 2 1 lead. A back flick there from one of the York players in Maidstone's goal area. Just goes slightly wider with Dan Barden to his right hand side. Wow. Yeah, got to keep the heads up and everything. And <sighs> Wow, that's got to be one of the craziest own goals I've seen. Jaden, hello, bro. Welcome, man. How you doing, brother? I'll have to watch that on the highlights. One of the craziest own goals I've seen for a long time. And it has to go, from Maid to go against Maidstone. Unbelievable. Oh, you got your cup game tomorrow and you're home to Leeds United. Bloody hell. Yeah, cool. They're bringing six and a half. Are you... Yeah, that, that, far, that far side then to be... Oh, no, you're Cardiff, isn't it? Yeah, because I'm thinking of someone else. Oh, Cardiff, yeah, yeah. Have you got your ticket already for that one? We're not, not playing FIFA 22 at the moment. We're just doing the live watch-along Maidstone United up at the LNER Community Stadium up in Yorkshire, away at York City. 
both teams kind of struggling. We've had three goals in the first nine minutes. Or well, Mason taking that up the wing there. Head, oh, you've got a new tyre. The car with the blowout on it. 90 quid, yes. Yeah, that's crazy expensive, isn't it? Stuff you can afford to do without, isn't it? So Mason had the early start, one and a half minutes, go 1 0 up. Heading up the left wing, crossover, Jack Barham head, puts it in, taps the ball in, 1 0 Maidstone. A couple of three minutes later, five minutes. Equaliser, York City opening at the back there. Make two of Mason defenders mess up and in it goes. And uh, wow, his first debut game on loan for Maidstone from Dagenham and Redbridge, Johan Zuma. Uh, gives York a 2 1 lead with an own goal. Back passes it, back past Dan Barden, and straight into his own net. Unbelievable. So at the moment, there with 13 minutes in now, York City 2, Maidstone United 1. Yeah, Jaden, yeah, York City, well. Unbelievable. 1 0 lead in the first one and a half minutes, then within six minutes, you're 2 1 down. And we've got an injury now, we're just waiting. A York City uh, injury at the moment, so we're just waiting on that for the moment. Yeah, 13. That's, that's what the time is now, like to come up to 14 minutes. And Are the players okay now? So. Jaden in the league, yeah, league game. Yeah, we're out of the cup. We lost out in the fourth qualifying round. So there's only like Bournemouth and I don't know who else is left in the FA Cup from National League. We're in deep trouble. We don't get. We, I said that last week. We can't get any points on the board. And now today's the same. We can't get any points on the game. We're over halfway through the season now. And we've had five wins in 26 games and we need, need another seven or eight wins to, to keep us up so we've only got five in over half of the season I, or I, I can't see us getting another eight in less than half oh another crossing from york and it's all oh, headed wide the goal well we all, York are piling the pressure on now, but looks a bit. Mason need to keep their heads and their heads up, and yeah, you're in the same boat as us, Jaden. Struggling to get wins, we need them from somewhere. Now. Be a shame all, all the all the fight last year in National League South and all going to waste. So York up the left wing now. They're just coming into Maidstone's box. Going to get a crossover. Maidstone managed to clear a wee bit. Heading out to the corner flag. And Maidstone have just passed it straight to York City. Wow, to put more pressure on. And managed to clear it. Straight but out to York City player who pressed, pressed forward again. On the right wing this time. Too slow. Managed to clear again. Inside the Maidstone half, gone out for throws for York. I uh, had a good week, Jadam, yeah, man. <laughs> Been pretty good. Yeah, busy week. Short week, isn't it? Only a four day week this week. Or well, and a little bit this morning. Hence why I'm not up at the game today. Oh yeah, Jaden, yeah, you just don't need that straight after Christmas either, dear. His nails are so small you can't really notice them. Now. Oh, FIFA's screwing you over. What's happened there? Then? Well, York City on a free kick here. 
at the LNER Community Stadium. Not their own stadium. Ah, oh, in the 119th minute and loss. Oh, I bet that was a little crossing and poke tapping goal like they do up the wing. Don't they? <laughs> Still waiting for this free kick to be taken from York City. York City then are playing in like a maroon, their maroon tops, white shorts and maroon socks. Or Mason in their familiar amber tops with black sleeves and black shorts, black socks. It's gone out for a goal kick with Maidstone. So Maidstone don't seem to be getting much. First few minutes they were up attacking York like a good one, and now since those two goals have been back on the de defensive, can't seem to get up into York's half. Now. Familiar story. <laughs> It'd be a shame to see us get relegated. We had a good experience, all the new teams and stuff, bigger, lots of travelling, bigger teams, bigger grounds to travel to this season. So if it doesn't last only more than one season, then at least we've had that experience again for, for, a, for a one year <laughs> or seven, eight months. Then we get back to more local stuff and start, if we go back down to National League South, uh, next season, which I don't want us to, hopefully, if we can survive this, I don't know. The hope's not too high, but just have to keep supporting the team and hopefully we can get out of it and scrape it by because there'll be a massive derby maybe next season if the Gillingham's new owners don't uh, make a massive turnaround because I think Gillingham are like five points, rock bottom of Division 2 and League 2 and five points to drift from third bottom so they're in trouble as well so that'll be a massive one of the biggest derbies in the league I think National League next season if Maidstone managed to survive and Gillingham come down that'd be a oh, that'd be a, a massive feisty biggest derby going I think in the National League that one god you'll never see so many places in your life I think but that one home and away Both sold out home and away, all ticket matches, on it, I expect. But just have to see what happens. First of all, we need to survive, you know. But as you said, if we don't, then I may stand hoofing it up, over, long ball up, up the left wing. We've managed to get it. We're going into York's box, and then York have just put it out for a corner to their right hand side. It's a Mayston corner coming up. Yeah, so if we drop to National League South, then. OK, you get the pros and you get the cons, you're back to smaller grounds, but then you're, you're allowed to drink back on the terracing again. Not so far to travel, less expense, and maybe bring more crowds back in. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, the pros and cons of going up and coming back down. Massive expensive to travel when you get into the National League and we get January and February out of the way uh, we got after this we're away next Sunday away at uh, Notts County in the FA Trophy fourth round on it's a Sunday game as well 3 p.m. kickoff on next Sunday week tomorrow that's because Notts Forest are playing at home to Leicester in the Premier League. 2-1, uh, two, two, cool boy. 2-1 Maidstone still. 22 minutes coming up into the game. So plenty of time to get back into it. Yes, yeah, so Maidstone back on the road next Sunday. As I said, because Notts Forest are at home to Leicester next Saturday in the Premier League. Maidstone a game with Notts County. In the FA Trophy, fourth round has been moved to 3 pm kickoff on a Sunday. I can't do, but then the following Saturday, Maidstone at home to Wrexham. 
top of the top, well, top of the table up there with Notts County. So that Mason home game, that'd be a great one. I've got my ticket already for that one. And then we're on the road. We've got some three long away trips, January, February, I believe it is. So you've got Yeovil, I think Torquay and Yeovil, one week after, one week after another. You've got the 28th of January and the 4th of February or whatever it is, two weeks running, one weekend we're down in Torquay, one weekend straight after we're down at Yeovil. And then you've got the Boundary Park away game coming up. York, York heading into Maystone's box or oh, shot. And it's gone way over the top. No, nothing to worry about there. So, yeah. Um, what's everyone's thoughts then on this new loan guy coming in? <laughs> I know there's been a lot of controversy around it. Left back, Yian Zuma. A reasonable amount of fans there by the looks of it. Not a, not a full house, obviously. But come on, Maidstone, let's try and get back into this. Yeah, free kick to York City there. Uh, push off the ball there. Push off the ball there from Roy Deacon, Maidstone. On their number nine, giving uh, York City a free kick halfway between like the box and the D and uh, the halfway line there. Coming in across from York. I managed to clear a little bit on the edge of the box. York playing around with the ball and they're zooming in across in and it's flicked across but it's gone out. Goal kick, Maidstone. Done Dan Barden. Oh, well. So 25 minutes. There's always, always chances. Um, always... That odd chance for Maidstone to get back into this two-all. Plenty of time to go. We've got the whole second half to go, yeah. Know. <clears throat> Don't know if anyone can hear the sound. Obviously, you need to keep that down a wee bit, but... I don't want to be hearing that right some here, yeah, so... Um, Give you some latest result or not results, but latest uh, for Mason heading up the left hand wing where they got the goal from earlier. Rory Deacon on the ball at the moment, going into the box with Maidstone. The shots come in, but it's straight out there. Goalkeeper Ethan Ross. So it's a goal kick, York City. Yeah. The matches at the moment then, uh, full time in the FA Cup, well, it's in Crystal Palace 1, Southampton 2, then that's a full time result. Uh, Gillingham have lost earlier 1-0, the only goal there at home to Leicester. A full time score as well coming to the Preston 3, Huddersfield 1 in the FA Cup and then Reading 2, Watford 0. Tottenham beating Portsmouth one goal to nil. And that was uh, oh, we got that one. Oh, that was a Harry Harry Kane goal, 50th minute, gives Tottenham a win now over Portsmouth. It's a goal kick then for Maidstone. Currently it's Bournemouth one, Burnley one, uh, Blackpool one, Notts Forest nil. A Bournemouth losing one nil at home to Aquitaine and Stanley. All this is the FA Cup. Just filled 2 1 down at home to West Brom. Two minutes whilst the uh, phone going off here now.
Yes, yeah, so York just on the attack there, it's gone out for another goal kick, and uh, apologies for the interruption there on the phone there. Yeah, so he's heading into some cup results, FA Cup third round results now. Uh, Fleetwood have a nil nil with QPR at the moment, and Hull nil nil with Fulham, Ipswich a nil nil with Rotherham, and Middlesbrough are losing 2 1 at home to Brighton, Mill 1 0 down at home to Sheffield United, and a whole bunch of other. Get our Shrewsbury 0 0 with Sunderland, and all the rest of 5 30, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock kickoffs. And what we're interested in now is. Um, National League result games at the moment. So just over half an hour in. Um, Aldershot nil, Knox County 1. And we've got Barnet and 0 nil with Gateshead. So they're, they're gaining another point on us at this current moment in time. Dagenham Redbridge nil, Woking 1. Dorking a 1-1 one, one with Oldham. And Scott Wales, Scunthorpe are beating Maidenhead 1-0 at the moment, which don't bode well. Southend 1 0 over Sully Hole at the moment, just over half hour. Torquay 0 0 with Halifax. So everyone's gaining on us at the moment. So everyone's either drawing or winning around us, apart from all the shot, but they're way ahead at the moment anyway. Um, and Wildstone 0 Eastley 1, York City 2, Maidstone 1. We know we're at. So the table itself. So Mason back up into New York's half here, know, 30 minutes in. A corner coming up for Maidstone. So currently we're still third bottom, uh, but where Mason taking that corner, trying to get the ball in across from Rory Deacon. Just pass it out. Why do you come out to corn? The foul being given. Dewey Deacon's been brought down just on the edge of the box, penalty box, out on the left-hand side. So, free kick right on the edge of the box then for Maidstone. Yeah, so we're third bottom still currently as it goes. Uh, 21 points. Tokyo and only one point behind us now, uh, game in hand. Scunthorpe game in hand on us as well and only two points behind which means if everyone wins their games in hand we're going to come bottom now Oldham three games in hand on ahead of us and they're one point ahead as well on 22 points as our gates head and they've got two games in hand well so we're, we're in deep trouble if we don't get nothing from this one um we're going to struggle to get back out of the bottom four for the rest of the season Shot coming in from Booty, it's blocked though from York. Long ball over, up, up the left wing then. Maystone fighting for everything, I think it was that Sam Corn on the ball. And we've lost it. Oh no, we've got it back. And then we lost it again. So we are fighting for everything, but... Just need to get that ball in the box. Goal kick, York City. Well, it's so not county top of the table there at the moment. Obviously, they're 61 points, five points clear of Wrexham in second, but Wrexham have two games in hand at this current moment in time. Then there's a massive seven point gap to third place Chesterfield. We need a win today to get us back back out the relegations drop zone. Really we need a goal before half time if we can. Uh. game that we see on there on FIFA 22, we're going to play that half-time. Maystone Brentford. Game we need to win there on that as well, really. Maystone 10th, Brentford up in 8th. 
are in the box then made stone at last across in shame all Lawson shoots are but it's just gone wide ah mains 2-1 York up to 34 minutes in three goals in the first six minutes crazy with Maystone taking the lead within a minute and a half huh? Jack Barham Shakai Shuk Ford the guy on loan from Watford at York gets the equaliser uh, from pretty much a central position in the um, penalty box and then that crazy own goal from Maidstone keeps the score at the moment it's 2-1 to York Here we're going up that left wing, we're getting quite a bit of play up there. We just need to get that ball across and get flood the box in the middle there really. Get the players into the middle of the penalty area and just get the crosses over. Flood everyone in, you know what I mean, rather than having just one player in the box. It's not really gonna do a lot. Just need to get them crosses over instead of trying to walk in. And we're we're playing like nice football up there, but then we just instead of getting the crosses in, we're playing it too much and then losing it. New York are just giving it away again up that left wing. Oh, Ryan Galvin brought down. Oh, come on, got to be a yeah free kick given. Made stone again. Come on, let's make make just punish them for this. Get the cross in the box. Get someone's head on that. Heidi Gander on the ball now, getting across in Sam Corn, but it's, it's gone out for a goal kick. It's like we've got a lot of fight in this, but we just need to get that, that chance to get back into the game. Eh? Ideal if we can get back to 2 2 before half time. Mason throwing their own, taking the throw in their own half up that left wing where we look, keep playing the ball. Oh, we've got no Yorker in there. No. Clearance from the keeper right up into the Maidstone half. York seem to be playing the ball a lot on the floor. Huh? So just coming into the Maidstone half. Oh, I'll get it open there. Oh my God! Oh, Creed Shakai is that Shakai Ford again? Third goal for York City. Number eight. It's open on that left that left side and the ball's shot from an angle. That's nine, yeah, Shakai Ford. At an angle shoots from the left hand side and it goes straight through the arms of Dan Barden into the roof of the net. 
shit. York City 3, Maidstone 1. Two goals. And Shakai forward. Just goes from bad to worse for Maidstone. 3 1 nil. 39 minutes. How many games are we conceding like three goals a game today? Not even half time. We're bloody three one down already. Yeah, three one. This could be a cricket score. We're carrying like this. But we just need to try and get back into this. Yeah, they just scored again. Yeah, three one. It's that guy on loan from Watford, Shakai Ford, got his second goal. Plus the other one was an own goal, so he's got like both of York's goals. Yeah, <laughs> not good. To take a 1 0 lead and then suddenly by half time you're 3 1 down. Trainers coming onto the pitch, I think. Forward down on the floor there. So, injury, well. A supposed injury for York City. <laughs> so thirty one goals we scored and conceded fifty eight now. Minus 27 goal difference, Maidstone. sort of player we kind of need or something someone like that can start bagging the goals in huh? on like a regular basis but I know we've had that before but we're pretty much a National League South team competing in the National League you know Run the pressure at the back again. We managed to get the, the ball headed back from Yo and Zuma this time, headed back to Dan Barden. We're playing out the back again. George Fowler back to through Elu. It's long ball up front. It's, for me, that, that just doesn't work. It works occasionally if you mix and match, but not if you're going to be doing it all the time. York heading up the right hand wing now, commanding the game. They've just played it out though, it's gone for a goal kick. So, just like a minute and three quarters from half time, uh, see what time they add on. Mm. 
was hoping for better things this afternoon, but it doesn't seem to be that. Shame we st we started off really well, but I can't seem to get back into that after those two early conceded early conceded goals. It's kind of put a body blow into us. You know? Maidstone come into the bottom line across and there's no one in the middle. But Jet Barham shoots or oh, get the keeper. It's gone out for a corner for Maidstone right on the edge of half time. Come on boys. See if we can uh, maybe get back three two at half time if we can, if we can get the ball in the net here. It's before the added time goes. I don't know how much added time they put on but Oh, shot over though. It's close. Not close enough though. Goal kick. I think probably it'd be half time once the keepers, Ethan Ross has taken the goal kick here for mate, um, for York. So, must be three hundred minutes. So, it may seem like dominating the first part of the game for a few minutes, and it's been pretty much York City most of the rest of it apart from Mason having a few breaks here and there. But York City heading up the left wing again. With Alex Hurst getting the crossover to Shakai forward. The danger man. He's got a low he's got a crossover. He's gone out to the far side. York doing one twos. And Mason on the counter, come on. Ah, oh, a long ball falling on the floor to no one. Basically gone straight to one of the York players. What was the point in that? So we're heading up the right wing now with Hardy Gandor. No?
come on, rare. George Fowler has been brought down, but nothing given. So you're on the counter now. Oh. Defenders there, but they're just standing off until they're getting in. Letting York play and do what they want. Cross come over from York, but it's gone too far past everyone out for a goal kick, and I believe that's going to be coming up. Yep. Half time. 49 and a half minutes. It's half time then. It's made stone. At the LNER Community Stadium in Yorkshire, it's half time in York City 3, Maidstone United 1. Two goals in from York, from Shakai Ford, the lone player from Watford, and the own goal from Johan Zuma from Maidstone, left back. And Maidstone kicked the game off with a 1 0 lead with Jack Barham. So, yeah, half time, York 3, Maidstone United 1. I'm just going to move this thing up now. Don't know if that's going to interrupt what we need to do, but okay, so let's team management on this one. Let's customise play this one game here. Brentford can have a change of kit, can't they? Cucurella missing. Okay, so we'll take Cucurella out. I've got I'll put on my own. What's going on here? Why can't we? Oh, he's on a red card. Well, that, that can be on a red card then. Oh, she needs to be replaced by someone. The game's not even kicked off from on a red card though. That's ridiculous. Um. I think one of the players ejected from the match, I don't understand that one because we've not even played the game yet. So we'll be playing with 10 men before the game even kicks off. This is something else that we can't. Stand on, it's been crazy stuff. Oh, well, we've done the line up there before we were even not allowed to change it. So, we're playing with 10 men before the game even starts. So, they can go.
Right. Let's play this game now. All eyes on one man. A hat trick in his last game. Will he prosper once more? We'll have the action on EA TV. Come on. All right. Hello, everyone. You know, some footballers enjoy a rainy day. Not sure fans always feel that way, but an exciting match in prospect nonetheless. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. Stuart, how do you see this one going? Well, going when game. looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Oh, Over the touchline for a throw-in. Chance to run at them. Options in the middle. Pass it away. Diego Rossi. Could be troublesome. Well, oh, hey, it's it right. <laughs> Just over the top. Well, it's tight at the top and extremely tense, just as we would want it, Stuart. And it looks like being a very close race for the title, doesn't it? There's nothing to choose between the teams, but can one of them just go on a great run and pull away? It should be! Oh, oh incredible sorry. save, and he stopped out the danger. And there's the delivery. Okay, Making sorry. sure nothing came of it. Pleased with himself. Traore. Running room in the wide position. Can they forge ahead? We're back at 1 1. Or 1 0. Come on. Good pass. Come on. Back into that one. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder and his movement so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one foot in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. And the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Looking threatening. with regard to that cross. Goalkeeper's ball. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Defenders need to cover. Cut back inside there, come on. And flag oh, raised, offside, come offside. On. Well, that was always going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. Usunu. Janert. Now, what can they do from here? Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. Ross could be useful. Can they put it away? Oh, it's an own goal! Equalised. He would love to be able to forget. Well, we can take another look at how close this was. It was marginally over the line, yes, but no doubt it was a goal. So the ball is running again at one all. intervention Janert counter attacking very much an option this looks interesting can they take the lead oh keep saving wonderful stop nice So the 
corner played into the box and clearing it away. Has a go. Oh, reflection. That's the corner. Locked together. Will it stay that way following this corner? Played over. And they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Hang on to the ball. Diego Rossi. Oh, showing excellent vision. Ah, oh, hey. there for him, but why, why? to find the target. Well, he certainly stance. went for power, but the accuracy just wasn't there. He should have scored that. Come on, Ray. Come on. from a small challenge now will the referee produce a card well he's gone okay, into man. the book well he was late and he deserved the booking for that ah oh, come on well, the manager oh, time. The one one all time team talks we're at the end of 45 minutes in this game Two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Rafa Mir. All the way through to the keeper then. Oh, Jaden, yeah, man, black number on me, it's getting, ah, oh. come on. Well, Chelsea making waves on the transfer front, and he could Hang on, Derek, it's a chance. Kai, is it on TV tomorrow? If it's on, um, oh, the great save. Yeah, if it's on, uh, oh, that's a pass of high oh no, so oh, oh, oh. Yeah, Rari, hello, yeah, man. Well, it's it's spike effort, it's on the half time doing a bit of free 22 career mode one. offside then while we're waiting for the second half to start Maidstone away at York City National League watch along as the game's gone Maidstone for currently 3 1 down though Sead Hak a foul but advantage played they ain't got the pace to get the win But ultimately, oh, I'll yeah, yeah. keep here my TV. Oh, yeah, cup game, isn't it? Because it is. Well, yeah, okay, yeah, I watched that one. I did watch the. Uh, what was the one the other day we had? And beating the defender. Oh. Well, the goalkeeper got there in the end. Well, his recovery is brilliant here. So athletic. Oh, it's so a bit sluggish here, man. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution oh, up to this point, Stuart. He's struggling. Yes, Derek, he was a real nuisance in that. Oh, where is everyone? I hope so, he's the keeper, but... Or off the line. The <laughs> no. At least for now. Well, that is how to run at defenders. There it is! Oh, I see it coming, couldn't you? Come on. Well, here he is again. That was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. So there we have it. 2 1. Akshabanovic. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Could play it in. This could level it. Oh, I can't just stop it. Well, he should score from there. That's a wasted opportunity. He should beat the keeper from that. There's some changes to do as well. Or as I up front. Oh, because I'm playing the second team there as well, that's why. Um, that 
Takes a bottle of it out then for a minute. The distance. Back into this one. From the coming up. Going to sort of kicking off to stop this going and then back into the kick off for now. The game's just about to kick off in the second half, the up made stand. And into the last 15 minutes of action. It's just going off and get back into that. Well, the away side haven't lost the possession, as you can see. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, they're well, he didn't oh, miss that that one. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control of the situation. He knew that was going wide. Oh, the throw, come on. Oh, the kick stops it again. Well, that's a match winning save there. Not long left now. Well, this might be the final opportunity to draw level. Now, sending it in. Not really the ideal clearance. Well, no damage done. They're not kicked off yet. Wait. Well, we have a plethora of live matches coming up for you here on EA TV. This one, I think, might pique your curiosity. And what a game that will be. Two good teams in a great stadium. I'm really looking forward to that one. Oh, not great defending. Oh, there we go. Back in this one, the three one. Jeez. Oh, come on, red point. Offside the game's just got underway. You'll come the ball up in Maystone's half. Right, superbly to take back possession. And three minutes will be added on. Real chance. Well, the ball oh, can be the goalkeeper's best friend. It might be on for them. They've won back possession. Look. He continues his run, and there it is, the final whistle. That's full time. Uh, that's that's the that looks like the score scores. Today oh, to beat look, for look, them. Well, well. So York are just coming into the Maidstone's oh, box, but Maidstone have got the ball back, and they just keep a damn bargain hoofs it up to the middle of the pitch you know. I've just got a couple of questions Mason I want to ask about the into match. York's half for a brief period to York City get the ball back got on the counter attack you know. No further question. Thanks for your time. Right. Come back out of this for the moment and then I'll continue watching the game. Okay. Right, so we're back watching the game for Maidstone. We are in the second half now. Two and a half minutes in, York playing out the back. <clears throat> Let's put that there for the moment. So. Oh, good defending from Maidstone, isn't it? Another player down for York City then. Off that def defender and the striker from. York clashed. It's 
the next game coming up on that FIFA 22 then Maystone's career will actually do a proper career thing on it um, there's a TSG Hoffenheim round 16 first leg match in the Champions League and trying to get that done at this weekend at some stage It's going to be another minute or two added on, I suppose, at the end of the game for this injury while sorting it out. Just check there's been no half time changes. So there's been a change then for York City at half time. Uh, so, Kama John Lewis comes on at number 14 for York with um, Manny Ducku then number 27 coming on for York. That's their half time change. No changes for Maidstone, um, they remain exactly the same. Nothing's changed. Give you some National League half time results in a minute. Oh, I've updated scores in a moment. Most of them getting into York City's half for a brief period. Mason playing, playing on the floor at the moment, they're playing quite well actually. But we just need the Hardy Gandor heading up the left. Galvin getting a crossover, uh, you'll clear it. R um, Rory Deacon on the ball in the middle. Now we've lost it, it's gone back to York City play out the back and they've just thrown the ball away they've gone out for a corner they've made stone come on you stones corner made stone ball's crossed in but you'll easily clear that ball away there. Shot over the top comes, not shot, but a pass over the top, it goes out for a goal kick. Goal kick then for York City. Gav Jarman, hey man, welcome. Welcome to Spiky Barmy Army. We're just uh, watching this game here on the National League. Maidstone at York. 3 1 as well at York City. Maidstone, a free kick just inside the York City half in the centre of the pitch. You know? The York City players I'm going to talk to now. So Mason went ahead with Jack Barham on like a minute and a half. Oh, you're currently at, at Blythe. Oh, yeah, because you're the um, guy from Kings Lynn. I see. 
Yeah, yeah, cool, man. Currently at Blythe, we're just into the second half now. How are you doing at Blythe Spartans now? I hope you're doing better than what we're doing. <laughs> My son get into the penalty area. Oh no, what's, what's happened there? Has it gone out of corner? Ah, oh, nil nil currently. Okay. We just are lucky that you, you go up this season and we'll drop out back to National South and uh, keep missing each other and uh, So the ball's cleared back out to the halfway line. Maystone then get the ball back from George Fowler back to Dan Barden. He's played the ball out on the floor. Another long ball up the right wing. Straight to a York City player. Got a crossover though. Oh no, it's way over. Just wild shot. Goal kick. York City. Well, we need a goal soon. We're going to need one pretty shortly to give us any hope of getting back into this game. In fact, this moment in time, uh, other results around us. Uh, you all just shot 2 0 down at home now to Notts County. Barnet are still 0 0 with Gateshead. So they've gained a point on us. Dagenham Redbridge nil Woking two. Dorking one Oldham Athletic four. Well, that's not good either. They're three points ahead of us for three game or well, four points ahead of us now, possibly, or whatever three games in hand. It's gone for the two nil over Maidenhead. So everyone around us is winning. Doesn't matter too much with all the shocks, they're way ahead of us. Um, South End 3 0 over Solly Hole. Torquia 0 0 with FC Halifax. So they're gaining a point on us as well. So basically, everyone wins their games in hand around us. We'll be rock bottom if they win their games in hand. Don't they? And Wildstone 2 1 up over Eastleigh and York, we know, 3 1 over Maidstone at the moment. 56 minutes. So Kings Lynn, you're know, third in the table there at the moment then. Games in hand on everyone else, so it's look, looking good for yourselves, and you know? Get could win the league this year, you know? Yeah, 62 minutes into that one at Blythe Spartans. Can't see where the Maidstone fans are. They're on the part of the ground where they're at. Must be in this left-hand corner that you can't really see much. Gone out for a goal kick and a goal kick for York. Kind of doing in that moment. Yeah. Oh no, they're playing tomorrow. He's at Leeds, isn't it? So it comes fifty eight minutes. Still three, you're one to York City then over Maidstone. Yeah, we'll be back on live tonight. We'll do a bit of FIFA of 22 and then we'll also do some, got some GTA to do as well. Huh?
Oh, he's given that as a free kick, isn't it? Foul. Maidstone free kick York. Took it quickly, though. They're up the right wing then for York. Right up, just outside the box from Maidstone. Crossover. I think it's gone out for a corner. Yeah, it has. Corner York City. Chesterfield of 2-1 down they were earlier to West Brom at home in the FA Cup. Uh, Chesterfield of 3-2 ahead, beating West Bromwich Albion 3-2. Uh, Dan Barden's got the ball for Maidstone, running to the edge of the box, oofing it up the field, but I don't think there's really anyone up there, is there? No. Gone out for a throw. York. Out on the uh, LNR Azuma stand side of the ground. Well, not much to cheer about today, is so far for Maidstone. So we've a couple of changes have been made for Maidstone then. We've had Shamar Lawson come off for Maidstone and on come, on's come as uh, the guy we had from Hungerford. Uh, Sol Wanjow Smith has just come onto the pitch about seven, eight minutes ago. I'll oh, come on, ref. It's got to be a free kick brought down up on the right side. Free kick Maidstone. Probably 10, 15 yards outside of the right hand side of the penalty box for Maidstone. Oh, Blythe third. Yeah, so you should, should really be beating. Um, Live Spartans then really they're down in the relegation zone you only got games in hand as well haven't you so and also uh, Hardy Gandor has gone off for Maidstone replaced by Josh Farley so there's a couple of changes early on for Maidstone cross coming for Maidstone from free kick oh with two players have missed it wow if one of them had got a touch on that that would have been 3-2 but just just the way it's gone. Uh, my thoughts? <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. Um, a lot of controversy over that at Maidstone, I think, um, as far as I'm aware. But my thoughts? Not a great start, really. Um, he's put an own goal in earlier as well to give York their second goal. After a back pass to the keeper, goes past him and into the net to give York a 2-1 lead. That's his debut game, left back as well. Um, and all the other situations, I don't know. Hasn't really started off really great. York threw on the ball. Oh, good clearance made to stay out for a corner. So the club do what they need to do, don't they, really? Um, but so far, it hasn't worked out, has it? So after only one half, three quarters of a game in. <sighs> and putting on goal in after five, six minutes hasn't done too good. But look, all the punishment's been done and dusted, isn't it? So I suppose let the man get on, move on with life. And But whatever we seem to do, it doesn't seem to work out at this moment in time. All the wrong decisions not work. decisions are not just not working though. Come on, Maidstone, let's get the ball, clear it. Oh the keeper's got it, Dan Barden. Sh 
shame because I'll be looking forward to heading up um, up Norfolk Way and up to Kings Lynn next season. If we manage to get up there, and if we don't drop out, but like you come down and we've gone up, and then we might even be swapping again. At the end of the season, you go up and we come down. <laughs> might have to wait another season for Maidstone visit Kings Lynn and vice versa. No? So Mason are getting up into the York box, but not really doing a lot with it. No. So York on the ball in their own half. No. Or oh, back pass to their keeper. and Fawali nearly gets onto the ball, but and causes the keeper to rush and oof it out. It's a throw for Maidstone up on the right hand, left hand side. I think Ryan Galvin taking the throw. Oh, I just had a shot off the crossbar. Unlucky, man. <laughs> Go on, Maidstone. Oh, my fucking God. He's shot, like, right on top of the goal and it's gone, like, up into space. Unless the keeper or someone got a touch on it. Yeah, but the keeper or someone must have got a touch on that. It was on top of the goal line and it's gone miles over the top. Must have been a save from the keeper or something. Corner comes in but it's it's gone wide for Maidstone and we stay out. Goal kick, York. 65 minutes in it remains. York City 3, Maidstone 1. Look, the, the pros of the, the cons of going down means obviously if we go down that it's getting closer that way that we may not have a massive Kent derby against Gillingham. Um, not so much travelling to do next year either, not so much expenditure. And you'll be able to drink back in the stadium again. <laughs> Probably get more fans back at home again travelling. Smaller grounds. My worry is, will most of the squad disappear off if we if we drop down? We've got to start afresh. It doesn't guarantee that you'll... Either way, if we drop out this league, it's not a guarantee that we're going to head straight back up again. That's my only worry about getting relegated like we happened did last time. It's took, well, COVID, cut the COVID seasons... And then the first full season with fans back, we we, we got up as champions. Um, but so free kick coming in from Maidstone. No one there will get try and get a header in from Fawali, but it's just gone for a goal kick, York. Yeah. So my issue is is you can't guarantee you're going to go straight back up again if you get relegated because you don't know if the squad's going to stay the same. Everyone's going to split up. If a new manager comes in, he'll want his own players in there, so it's all going to be all massive change arounds again and going to start right from scratch. And we don't want to be doing what Weymouth have just done. Like They walked our league a while back after we got relegated last time from National League. They went up to National League and then were at the bottom most of the season. And now they're in National League South, they're down in the relegation zone of, of that division now. So we don't want that to be happening. But we just have to see what happens next month or two, what happens in the next next week. We're a break away from the league. We win the FA Trophy at Notts County. Then we're back to league action at home to Wrexham. <laughs> Gonna be tough. Oh, Boston United! Oh, they, they, they were down the bottom, hardly winning any games, weren't they, at the start of the season? They managed to claw themselves up out the relegation zone at the moment, Boston. Um, but oh, the hell, spending too much money in that, over expending. Oh, the hell, 
we've got South is it South End and Scunthorpe in our league or could possibly go into admin as well. <coughs> but the only bright side for us at the moment um, is the possibility that we had confirmed or Maystone heading up the right wing just outside the penalty box, York. So we get the crossover. Come on, get that crossover instead of playing around on the ball. No, playing about with the ball and then lose it instead of getting the crossover and flooding the penalty box. Players, come on! Oh, referee, come on! We've got two players down, Maidstone and York down. Don't they clashed heads? But then he's not even given anything. I don't think for that clash. Right on the edge of the box for Maidstone. It's just given the goal kick for York. Yeah, a bit of positive news, but it's not 100% yet. But it's been confirmed by our co-owners, Terry Casey and Oliver Ash, um, that there's interested parties that are they're having talks with at the moment, ongoing, uh, for investing into the club, taking over the club maybe, or putting so much shareholding in and putting new investment into the club. As maybe like the new owners possibly but it's a few interested parties that they're talking to at the moment so that's ongoing uh, I'll just have to keep you updated eventually over, as and when things break down or continue so we need probably new investors into the club to be able to progress because the owners we have now and I mean, they've done fantastically. They've actually got us back into Maidstone after many, many years of being kicked out of our own town, no ground, um, and then ground sharing with everyone else's ground for loads of years. And then we finally get Terry Casey and Oliver Ash back in as the new owners, take us back into our hometown, new ground, and... Uh, current ground we're at now and we're back in there we've, this is our second stint we've had in the National League over the period of time we've been back in our hometown and so they've, they've got took us as far as they can actually go so we need new investment now to progress Hence the reason we're struggling nationally because the money isn't there to spend on massive amounts of money or the budget's been missed, not been used properly. So we need new investment to, to move up, upwards. Maybe that might be in place by the next time we come back to National League if we go down. But yeah, for 70 come to 72 minutes, still York City 3, Maidstone 1. A couple of chances we've had, nothing major. York have not really had a lot in this game either, and they're probably just happy at 3 1 and just trying to catch us on the counter. So York playing the ball around out on the right wing now, just coming into Maidstone's half. Just gone back into their own half now. Maidstone putting them under pressure. Ferrari's just got the ball back. He's been pushed off the ball. Free kick Maidstone. Ten, fifteen yard, twenty yards or so outside the penalty box, left hand side. Free kick Maidstone. Who have we got the pleasure of taking it? Reagan Booty taking it. Can you get a cross off into the box, I suppose? See if we can get one back on here. Be interesting finishing if we can get one back now and make it 3 2. Oh, shocking free kick straight to York. No? It's gone out for a throw for Maidstone. Uh, down by the corner flag, we're tussling away, but York have won it. Clear the ball out up to halfway line. And Maidstone get the ball back. And the 
and York have played her out onto the wing there, back into the Mason half and then going back to Dan Barden, Mason Keeper on loan from Norwich City. Oh, come on, Mason. Lovely pass out on the right wing. Oh, ball too far in front. <coughs> oh, Blythe just had a goal disallowed. Well, wow, it's lucky then. Fighting to get out of relegation there, and no. It's a game you want to win, really, though, isn't it? Um, So you can kind of take command at the top of the table. And... So 79 minutes in, Chesterfield are still leading West Brom then, 3-2 in the FA Cup match. You know? Fleet with the beaten QPR, 2-1. A ball would have equalised now against Atkins and Stanley at 1 1. Oh, handball. Oh, okay. I'm surprised you never got booked for that or anything. No? <laughs> Gavin. <laughs> Long ball up. Up the wing. No good. Stretch a York player. Have a look at our table here. Oh, oh Gates had a winning at Barnet now. Bloody hell. Puts them even further. Puts three points, two more points ahead of us now. No? Games in hand as well. Everyone can overtake us if they win their games in hand now. Put us bottom of the table. Holding everyone up. Scunthorpe are 3 0 up over Maidenhead now. Dorking a 5 1 down at home to Oldham. Torquay are winning as well now. So we've dropped another position down with second bottom now. Torquay must have overtook us with a 1 0 winning at home to FC Halifax. We're in deep trouble now after this. Let's have a look at the table. But Yeah, so we're second bottom now. Scunthorpe, they're winning 3-0, and they're only two points behind us with a game in hand. 21, three points. We need four points now to get out of the relegation zone because of our goal difference. And that's, that's just to get out of relegation. The game's held up at the moment was an injury for a York player in their own half now. So currently then 24th at the bottom is Scunthorpe, 19 points, played 26 games. The Maystone second bottom, 23rd with 27 games, game more than Scunthorpe with 21 points. Third bottom then Torquay just overtook us with their win, winning at Hall home to Halifax at the moment. Uh, they're 26 games, 22 points and then fourth bottom, final relegation spot is Oldham. They're 24 games, three games in hand on us. And they're three points ahead. And then Gateshead have gone out of the relegation zone. Uh, 20th of 25 games at 24 points. Then all the shot then at 19th. 24 games, 26 points. So the two teams around us, Torquay and Scunthorpe, both have a game in hand. Torquay are just one place above, one point ahead. Scunthorpe are two points behind but have a game in hand. So they can go one ahead of us if they win their game in hand, puts us bottom. Then Oldham are three games in hand and of us, three points ahead, fourth bottom. Ridiculous, isn't it? 
so there's no coming back I don't know at the moment it looks like there's no coming back from this at the moment oh. so meanwhile in the game <laughs> York is still on the ball they're in their own half Mason have just won it back with Fuali oh Dominic Rosasano going up the right hand wing Oh, a lovely turn from Rory Deacon now. He's done too much, and York got it back. Mason heading back up the wing again. Oh, we played on. Just need to get the ball over. Just keep playing it. Running ourselves into trouble in that. And we've got a free kick in there. Rory Deacon gone down. Free kick made stone then. On the right hand side, out by the Azuma stand. At the LNER Stadium, York City. Just waiting for the free kick to be taken. We're about 12 yards and outside the right hand side corner of the penalty box Mason about to take the free kick balls come in oh you're clear though Mason get it back into the box oh shot wide from uh, Rory Dakin but it's deflected and gone out for corner there Maidstone We need this to go in. Uh, corner comes in and uh, it's cleared back out again. Throw made stone. Uh, ball. Thought the ball probably hadn't gone all the way over the line, but Mason were hoping for a corner, but it's, it's cleared. It's gone back into Maystone's half a damn barden now. Who hoofs it back upfield into the box? Sol Ronjal Smith, eyes oh, shot, it's just gone all the way over the top. Goal kick, York City. Oh, oh Darlington lose, losing 3 0 at Chorley, that's good news for you. Governor. That gives you um, good opportunities there, doesn't it, in the table. So you're third in the table there from what I can see here. Three and four games ahead. Wow. Three or four games ahead in a Oh, so Mason just cocked up in defence. Oh, oh, it's just gone in. The fourth goal, York City. No way. Another ball's up in defence. Can't believe this. 4-1 York City, 82 minutes. Another absolute disaster. Yeah, you need to go, still need to win the goal, especially against the team down the bottom there, no? Well, Maidstone cock up. We just York get a def well, it, it's gone up, deflected off a player, and it's gone in. York City four, Maidstone one. Eighty-two minutes. No coming back from this now. Doesn't even look like scoring another goal. The amount of goals we're conceding three goals in, and now today we've conceded four. Absolute fucking disaster. But oh dear, and we've got Notts County next Saturday, a uh, Sunday away in the trophy, and then home to Wrexham. And we're everyone's games in hand, and we just we're not going to get nothing out of the Wrexham game. Are we York on the attack again? We managed to get. Get the ball clear though. Yeah. 
uh, 89th, almost full time then for yourself, Gavin, uh, Blythe Spartans. Oh, we'll just give the ball away again, straight to there. They're on the attack just outside the box. Lucky they've shot wide. I believe it's gone out for a corner. They deflected. Corner York City coming up. 84 minutes. 4 1 York City. See who's got um, Yorks. Shakai Ford's got his hat trick. That was deflection goal. He's got his third goal then. Hat trick for York City on loan from Watford. Shakai Ford for York City. Destroys Maidstone on his own with a hat trick. We just fucking long ball up, long ball up, long ball up, and it's just going nowhere. Over the head of Sol, out for a goal kick, um, throw. York in no hurry to pick the ball up and take the throw in. Frustrating afternoon, the most done. <sighs> Gal Galvin about to take the throw for Maidstone. I absolutely destroying Weymouth for they. <laughs> So they're going to swap places with us next season, but looks like it, Dartford or Web Street. Or... The Weymouth have definitely come down and they're struggling now in National League South. I think they were close to being at, at, into admin as well, weren't they? I don't know if they still are, but obviously they have to get let go of a lot of players. That's my only worry if like Maidstone dropped down, which is looking likely at the moment. The players go and we have to start with a whole new squad. And we struggle, if you know what I mean. No one up front with Rory, huh? To pass it. To pass the ball. Nice one two there. And where's that going? The ball's gone straight out from Rory Deacon. No one even there to pass to and it's it's just gone out. Throw to York City. Sorry for all the fans that have travelled up up to York Yorkshire today and to watch a four one fashion. You know? Which would have included himself as well had I not run in from work this morning. It's a long journey home when you get beat like 4 1 when you're up north. Six added minutes up at Blythe. Well, hopefully, you can nick a win there. No? If you lose to some wall, you draw with someone down near the bottom. That's that Shakai Ford then just being substituted, getting a standing ovation then for York City hat trick on his only his second game or his, his home debut. That one, well, on loan from Watford in the EFL Championship. It's a shame we can't pick up like loans, maybe like that. If York can do it, surely we can be picking. But we've got stacks of lone players anyway, we don't really want any more. 
ball over the place at the moment. Just hoof the ball out and clear it anywhere kind of thing at the moment. So York pressing into Maystone half, got a throw now. Coming up to the 89th minute. I just want to thank everyone for watching and tuning in to the game and we'll be off shortly after full time um, our thoughts on Maidstone today Steve, Ryan Stanford was on loan in goal um, from Millwall we had him for a period of time and we, we kept clean sheets we did quite well then he had that serious injury um, his shoulder injury away at Woking and he's going to be out for like five months so he, he's returned back off loan back to his back to Millwall uh, and we've struggled again since so I mean he was like a stronghold there at the back and we've kind of struggled and then we've got Ben and Williams and Reese Green is still out. So we're kind of struggling all around, really. Yeah, you do need need to get a result on that, Gavin. Still nil nil, I guess, with yourself. You know? Yes, we're in added time now at the end of the game. I don't know how many added minutes. But it's, it's York City 4, Maidstone 1. It doesn't really matter how much he's added on. There's no way back in this one. So Mason coming back into York's half, pressing forward. They've gone back to York and they've just hoofed it back into Maidstone's half now. Yeah, still goalless, Swadiel. Yeah, I suppose at least you're grabbing a point today, no? <laughs> Six games in a row we've lost now in the National League, isn't it? Relegation fodder. Uh. She had a great lively start, and then I don't know, heads drop when we go one, get conceded so soon afterwards, and then get can see the second and the heads have kind of dropped we've been fighting and fighting but no end no end progress so York are back into Maidstone half nil two and a half minutes into added time at the end final whistle Gav oh nil nil bloody hell disappointed I suppose for yourselves playing someone down the bottom of nil nil I suppose it is a point I suppose but Liver down there trying to survive as well, I expect. Now. I hope you have a safe travel home, Gav, anyway. Now. Back from Blythe, back to Kings Lynn. Now. Thanks everyone for tuning in this afternoon, although it's been a disappointing first watch along. You know. Got to be pretty much the end with three, just over three minutes into added time. Now. York's still in the Maidstone half, fighting for the ball, and that free kick now, Maidstone. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, three points clear of fourth. That's good, though. Yeah, I know it's a disappointment, but you've got a point out of it at least. Away from home as well. Um, albeit they're down the bottom, but you can win your games in hand and stuff, and obviously you still go way top and at top of the table. Now. If other teams around you at the top have dropped points as well, like they said, Darlington. Manchester managed to clear the ball out of um, the goal area from Dan Varden. So we're just over four minutes now, added time. Must have been five minutes, I guess, though. Added time. York City definitely in no hurry to take it. So well, so Maystone second bottom after today's match. If games in hand are won, then we'll, we'll end up bottom. The Scunthorpe go winning. So just before the, Dan Barn about to take the goal kick for Maystone, I think the whistle's going to go now. We've just over five minutes in. Yeah, it's full time. Full time then, York City 4, Maidstone United 1 at the end of this National League fixture. The first one in 2023 for both teams. Other results around the league then in National League. At Aldershot 0, Notts County 3, full time. Uh, Barnet 1, Gateshead 1 in the end. Uh, Dagenham 1, Woking 2. Dorking 1, Oldham 5. Too close for comfort, yeah, that's <laughs> got a point from it and safe tri safe trip home, Gav. Yes, yeah, so Dorking won, Oldham five, and Scunthorpe beat Maidenhead three nil. Southend three nil over Solihull. Torquay one nil win over Halifax. Willstone three one win over Eastley and York City that four one Maidstone. Uh, so everyone around us getting points except for us. Maidstone players going over to the fans. I don't think the fans are happy though. Doesn't look like the fans are too happy there at the end. There's some there clapping away at York City are very happy there as well, but at the end of the game. Uh, uh, so the table, National League then is for the second bottom we finished today, 23rd. With everyone else grabbing points, Oldham getting that win at Dorking, Gateshead getting a draw at Barnet, Torquay winning over Halifax, and then Scunthorpe getting their win, I think over Maidenhead now. So everyone around us gaining points except for us. So we're now second bottom National League, everyone games in hand. So thanks everyone for tuning in, watching um, Spiky Barmy Army watch along live on. Um, cool boy, Gav. Gav, have a safe trip home, bro. Uh, cool boy, thanks for watching and everyone else that's tuned in during the game. It's full time, it's finished. Made York City 4, Maidstone United 1. Um, so not a great day for Maidstone, especially everyone that's travelled up there as well. More expense and then nothing at the end of it. Yeah, Gabby, yeah, have a nice trip down from up north, down to back to Norfolk. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll be back on live stream later, a bit of FIFA and some GTA as well. So I'm going to have some food, have a bit of a drink and that, and uh, we'll catch you all later. Thanks for tuning in. Take peace. Have a safe travels wherever you're going and coming from. And we'll catch you soon. Peace. <laughs>